as much as I like to think I'm the best artist this world has ever seen, I'm not yet. So if I'm gonna live up to my dreams, I'm gonna actually have to be responsible for one and improve my painting skills, learning from no other than the modern master himself, Warren Jack. Unfortunately, all of his videos are in Mandarin and I decided to take Espanol in high school, so that's more about. So I can't take the easier out by watching his videos, I'm gonna actually have to do a study myself. Hey, but maybe you can take the easy route by watching this video. From the get-go, I didn't want to waste time by going into this mindlessly copying. I made sure I knew what I was doing this master study for, and it wasn't to make a perfect one-to-one -one replica. I wanted to practice my rendering skills and color theory. Instead of hopping straight into the painting like he does, I started with a rough sketch, and you'll see later on why I'm purposely scribbling in some areas. I'm ballparking and adjusting things as I go. I have no time to waste on minute details early on, only defining areas that needs to be like the face since I struggle with them, but I left some places vague like the hands because I knew they weren't too difficult for me. I turned down the opacity of the sketch and started to block in the flats, working on three layers to keep it as painterly as possible. But you might have noticed already, I already have a lot of hue variation in these flats. That's because of this powerful tool called color jitter, which can change the hue of the brush subtly or drastically if you're into that, which is a huge time saver because it adds so much more depth. That's because nothing IRL has ever just one color. It's multiple colors bouncing off of every object and color jitter somewhat replicates that rather quickly, which is why it's my new best friend. I'm also using a textured brush to, you know, add texture and save time, but it's not completely necessary. Which by the way, if you're wondering what brushes Ron Jolly uses, he uses four main brushes, but only two depending if he's going for a wet look or dry look. For colors, I didn't color pick from the image because I really was trying to make connections in my mind and put my brain to work. But if I did get stuck, I would use a color picker to see what hue range it was in, but never putting the exact color down. Also, if an overall area needed to be more bluish for example instead of purple i would use an overlay layer to make it more blue and then re-merge the layers for texture most of it is my brush and even the color jitter is providing texture remember how i was scribbling in my sketch i merged the sketch layer to the painting to add more texture this is a technique i found somewhere i can't remember where but it works well also i'm occasionally making my brush really small to add scratches to materials to make them seem more reflective but that's after i get the overall structure done hair has been one of my weaker areas so i I got ahead of myself and wanted to make it look detailed right off the bat, but instead I made it look like a nasty hairball. So I toned it down a bit and repainted it with bigger shapes and continued to cut into it and break it down. I also learned that if you make the ends of the hair softer instead of a hard line, it makes it look more realistic. Same goes for the eyelashes. I'm also following the forms for my brushwork to convey depth, thinking of the arms as cylinders and the head as a sphere, the gun as a box, etc. My mentality is to have somewhat of a finished product every step, making sure no part of the image falls behind. I know some people can't work that way, but it really is a time-saving and effective way to work. Painting the gun and the Death Star thing in the back was a pain, but I think it was worth the practice. Maybe. Finally, I slightly blurred the background and added the white dust and motion blur and added final touch-ups. I'm pretty proud with the results. Poor style is not 100% accurate, but I learned a lot from it anyways. That's not all. I'm also going to take what I learned from this piece and apply it to an original piece with both of our styles combined. I have a work in progress sketch that's been getting pretty dusty, so I'm going to use that for this challenge. Perspective knowledge has been falling behind a bit, so I decided to challenge myself again with a perspective driven piece. And I'm using Clip Studio's perspective tool to help me lay out the guideline because my original sketch was completely off. Now I'm just trying to make her fit the perspective, but this was insanely hard for whatever reason. I usually don't struggle putting people in perspective, but this piece just shows how rusty I really am. At first I was bold and added another person in the piece, but then decided to take him out later and made it focus on one person instead because you know less work i finally put her into the proper perspective and started to refine the sketch then it's finally time to add in the flats and of course i'm using color jitter 
I was thinking, you know how Ross just says, it's, it's color dodge, dodge time. time. What if I said, it's color jitter time? No? Uh, okay. Now I'm just thinking about the material and how reflective armor is and how much bounce light it produces and just working that into the surroundings. Then I photo bash the marble texture into the pillars and the floors to save time by just putting them in an overlay layer and turning down the opacity. I was able to add a lot of subtle hue variation like Ron Ja does and take some shape language from his pieces and apply it to the throne that she's sitting on. But I would say this is more 70% my style and 30% his, but hey, who cares? I wanted this video to be entertaining and educational at the same time, just like any other of my videos. I don't wanna be a tutorial slash educational channel, rather just entertain some people and learn together. That's also why I have a Discord if you wanna come hang out share some art, improve. Put me on here if you want, and thank you, love you guys, peace.